everyone, I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2019 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 13. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 13. Okay, this is question 13 and this question is also testing us on angles, okay? So let's read question for part A first. In the figure below, a, B, C, D is a rectangle. So this is A, B, C, and D. Okay? So the points F, okay, G, and H lie on the rectangle A, B, C, D. D, E, F, so D, E, F is here, and H, E, G are straight lines. Okay, part A. Find angle FGE. So where is FGE? It is here. Angle FGE. Okay, so this is the question and let me highlight some key information. So this is a rectangle. Points F, G and H lie on the rectangle. And this is really important. Okay, find angle FGE. Okay, so here it is FGE. Okay, so first... We have some information over here that this is 48 degrees and this is 86 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to try to make use of either one of this information first. And we also have this 92 degrees over here. And another information that we have is that this is a rectangle. So all the angles are 90 degrees over here, right? Okay, and the rectangle has two parallel lines. Okay, so here here and here okay so there are two parallel lines okay so do you remember me talking about alternate angles in question 11 right so I'm going to use that concept again over here okay let me highlight the alternate angle to you and see if you can remember what I meant by alternate angles okay so I hope you remember what alternate angles are Alternate angles are basically, it's a Z, okay? So, in two parallel lines, so these are parallel lines, okay? There's actually a connecting line, right? Straight connecting line. That means that it becomes an alternate angle over here. So, this angle over here is actually equal to this angle over here. So, this is basically what alternate angles mean. Okay, let me draw it more, more nicer, okay? So, two straight lines. And then one connecting line. And then these are parallel. So this angle is equal to this angle. Okay? So I hope you understand that. So I'm using this over here as well. So this 86 degrees is actually 86 degrees over here. Okay? So angle DHG, DHG is equal to angle BGH equals, is equal to 86 degrees. So this is because of alternate angles. And then after that, we know that this is 86 degrees, right? And we want to find angle FGE, right? So basically, we just take 86 degrees minus 48 degrees and it will give us angle FGE, okay? So the answer is 38 degrees for part A. Now let's move on to part B. Part B, find angle EDH. Where is angle EDH? Okay, let me erase the highlighted portion. Where is angle EDH? Okay, E, where is E first? Okay, it's here. And where is D? Here. And H is here. So this is the angle that we need to find. Okay. So let me erase this right angle as well. So it can give us more space. Okay, so now that we know that this angle over here is 38 degrees, we can find this angle over here. Okay, so basically this is a triangle, right? This thing over here is a triangle. So I'm going to take 180 degrees minus 38 degrees minus 92 degrees to find angle FEG. FEG, okay? So it will give us 50 degrees. Let me write that down. 50 degrees. 
Okay, let me erase the highlighted portion. Okay, do you see something that we went through in an older video? Yes, I think you see it. This is a vertically opposite angle because these two lines are straight. Okay, if you are new to the channel and you do not know what's a vertically opposite angle, let me teach you right now. So here is also 50 degrees. So vertically opposite angles are basically two lines crossed, which are straight lines. Okay, so basically, let me use a yellow color. So this angle over here is equal to this yellow angle over here. Okay, and then this blue color angle over here is equal to this blue color angle over here. Okay. So basically, this is vertically opposite angles. There are two straight lines which meet at a point. Okay. And all of the angles added up together will give us 360 degrees. So you'll become angles at a point. Okay. This whole big circle. Okay. So I hope you understand what does vertically opposite angles mean now. Okay. So basically, this is also 50 degrees. Okay, so angle FEG is equal to angle DEH is equal to 50 degrees because of this property known as vertically opposite angles. Okay, now you should be able to see a clue. Okay, let me highlight something. Look at this. Look at this amazing piece. It's a triangle. Yes, and we already know two angles. So basically, it's really easy to find it, right? So it's just 180 degrees minus 86 minus 50 degrees. So that's the answer. And the answer is 44 degrees. Okay, so angle EDH is equal to 44 degrees for this question. Okay, so I hope you understood my explanation for this question, question 13, part A and part B. And I hope you have learned some new, um, some new properties or have recapped some properties. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.